Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler here again with Worship Innovation, bringing you another ProPresenter 7 tutorial. Uh, this one is going to show you just how easy it is to set up a new stage display and configure a totally separate stage display. So in the previous videos, I have shown you how to get the use a media fill to have a layer of media showing you, you know, underneath the lyrics. And then I've also shown you how to get a live stream output that just outputs the lyrics in a lower third so that you can easily add video underneath that. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to customize a stage display so I can make a stage display that's going to show me all of my outputs coming out of ProPresenter, which is going to be very helpful. So I'm going to start by just clearing everything out and I'm going to go to my main output. Uh, in my preferences, you'll notice I already have a screen set up. If I go to the screen configuration tab, you can see I already have a front of house stage display set up using a placeholder currently. And that is what's going to be my main output uh, that I'm working on today. So then we're going to press this more button here and we want to go to stage editor. Now the stage editor allows you to create different themes or different layouts for your stage display. Now they have some really great templates already provided that you can easily use. But if you want to create your own, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I'm going to start with a blank layout here. And all I want to have on this display is a few items. So I'm going to press this plus sign here and that's going to allow me to add current slide, next slides, screen previews, chord charts, stage messages, planning center live, timers, and everything else. So for this, I want to show a screen preview of my main output. I want this to go in my top left corner, so I'm going to set that up. And I want this to take up about a quarter of the screen, so you can see we've got a guide here now that shows us there's a quarter of the screen. So that's going to be taking the main output. Now I want another screen preview of my live stream. And that is going to go up here in this output. And once again, that's going to take up a quarter of the screen. Now what I'm going to do is I want to add a few timers. So I'll add my Countdown one, this is the countdown that I like to use for any kind of video countdowns or things like that. So I can see that going. I'm just going to resize this so that it fits. And I'll just have that once again, take up a quarter of the screen. We could do this. You can set this however you want. And then I'm going to lastly have a video countdown. So actually I want my video countdown and this countdown to uh, split this quarter of the screen. So I'm going to resize this element here. Then I'm gonna click on this element and I'm gonna make my, there we go. So now those are splitting that quarter of the screen. And then I want Planning Center Live to be down in this quadrant right here. Just like that. And now my stage display is stored. I'm going to click on my layout here or click on the background layout. I'm going to call this uh, oh, FOH. Um, to output with timers and PCO. That way I know this layout that I have. Now what I'm going to do is select my stage button here. And then for my front of house stage display, I want to select front of house to output with timers and PCO. Now when I go back to my show settings, you can see as I am outputting, if I go and monitor my front of house output, you can see that I have my main output 
my live stream output, have my five minute timer here, my video timer, and then if Planning Center Live were connected, that would show down in that corner as well. So that's how you set up your own stage display, uh, a custom stage display using uh, ProPresenter 7's new stage editor uh, window. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that and remember to keep on innovating.